What's up guys, it's time to take a look at the new Huawei P30 Lite, the third phone in the P30 series. I've already done a review of the P30 Pro, and this is the lighter version that comes from the same DNA used for the P30 Pro. A lot of great features are here on the lighter model at a much cheaper price. So the unboxing experience is very similar to the other P30 models. Along with the beautiful phone inside the box, you also get a case, 18 watt fast charger out of the box, which is even more than some of the flagships out there and Huawei earphones. Now I've been reviewing the lighter models from Huawei since P8 Lite days and I've seen each generation how they take features from their flagship counterpart and out of all the previous models this is the one that takes the most features from its flagship brother. So let's start off with the design and build quality and from the looks of it you can't really tell that it's a lighter model. I mean the look is very similar to the P30 models and even the previous model that came before for the P20 series. Thanks to the gloss on the back, it definitely feels uh, premium in hand. And then of course there is that fingerprint sensor on the back, which will be the differentiating factor from its flagship brother. So all those models are using the in-display fingerprint scanner, but with the lighter model, Huawei went with a back fingerprint sensor. It's actually really snappy with unlocking as well. It unlocks instantly as soon as you put your finger on the back. It doesn't have the gradient look of the last year's Pro model, but definitely looks very very similar and thank god they removed that chin from the front so it looks much cleaner and the notch is very minimal as well so the design wise i think it is really really good there's a headphone jack as well type c connector that supports 18 watts of fast charging and if we talk about the display it's a 6.1 inch display coming with 1080p hd resolution uh, definitely not the most brightest display in outdoor situations uh, but for the most part watching youtube videos indoor experience is pretty good i wish they went with an OLED panel but that's what we get at this price from Huawei again I don't think the LCD is bad here it is doing a fine job now under the hood is coming with a Korean 710 chip along with 4 gigabyte of RAM and for the most part it's been smooth I do feel a bit of uh, frame drop every time I go to my Google car screen other than that it feels really smooth I've got no problem uh, using my daily social media applications and for those who are into gaming this phone can actually run all of your latest titles with little to no lag. The current 710 chip can run games like PUBG on HD settings without any issues so you can see. It does have GPU turbo technology so that helps a lot with the gaming frame rates and one thing that annoys me is that it's currently running the EMUI 9.0 version instead of 9.1 so it is missing a very key feature which is the ability to have a full-on dark mode. So there is no dark mode right now even with the Pi update, something you get with the Pro model and the non-Pro P30 model thanks to their EMUI 9.1 version. So I definitely expect the 9.1 update to arrive soon for this phone. Again, it's EMUI. I'm not a huge fan of this. It definitely needs some tuning. Feels a little bit overwhelming. Uh, so I'm definitely going to be using Nova Launcher on this if I'm going to be using it as my daily driver. But the thing that matters here is the performance and I've not faced any issue regarding that. Now probably the biggest reason why this phone will stand out compared to the competition are those triple camera sensors on the back. So there's a 24 megapixel that takes wide pictures. There is a 8 megapixel super wide angle lens and then there's a 2 megapixel sensor for those depth sensing images. And as far as the image quality is concerned, is taking good photos for its price and for the video side it can shoot videos up to 1080p 60fps and there is no 4k recording on this phone so keep that in mind but by far the biggest and the favorite feature from the camera is the night mode now it is not as good as the night mode you would find on the p30 pro but it's still pretty capable uh, you can definitely enhance your image especially in extreme low light conditions and in conditions where there is less light or even there is light available you you can still use the night mode to enhance the image even further. The camera UI for the most part is similar to the P30 Pro, but it is missing a key feature, which is the aperture mode. This is something that Huawei gives to pretty much any phone, like even the mid-range super budget phones have this aperture mode thing that really utilizes the depth sensor. But for some reason, the P30 Lite is missing the aperture mode. So I really want this to come through his software update. For the front camera, it is using a 32 megapixel selfie lens 
and I do want to point out that even though it's written as 32 megapixel, the selfie result is still isn't as sharp as the one you get from the P30 or P30 Pro. Sometimes the AI gets super aggressive, creating a really unrealistic look. And I'm also not a huge fan of the skin tones, but that's a personal opinion. You might like it. Overall, it is a good selfie camera for this mid-range price point phone. And last but not the least, it's coming with a 3700 mAh battery size. And combined with these specs, I'm getting a full day of battery without any problem. And don't forget, it's coming with 18 watts of fast charging as well. That's the highest I've seen in the mid-range phone level. That is pretty amazing. So all in all, features like night mode, 710 chip it's uh, great fast charging and it's great battery life definitely makes this a great phone for those budget or mid-range level android lovers it's definitely one of those mid-range phones that are not missing out on any feature compared to the flagship counterpart is taking a lot this year so so that was the full review and unboxing experience of the huawei p30 Lite. let me know your thoughts about this phone in the comment section below if there's any specific comparison you guys want to see and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out